Okay, so here we are for the second exercise of our Python Turtle series of classes to help you learn some, you know, little bits and pieces about the Python language as well as some of the foundations for coding in any language. So this time around, what we're going to be doing is using the Python Turtle graphics package. So I'm going to create a new file here that we're going to use and we need to import a couple of things. So to start with, I want to import a library called Turtle. Okay, so this is some code that is written as part of the Python package once you've got that installed, which is going to then allow us to use some of those commands to get uh, graphical output to appear on screen. The next thing we need to do once we have our turtle uh, package imported is set up our screen size. So I'm going to say turtle.screensize and then in a set of brackets I'm going to enter 500 comma 500. Now what this line of code is going to be doing is it is going to set up uh, our windows so that it is 500 pixels wide and 500 pixels high. But specifically what this uh, line of code is actually saying is from the turtle package, so the thing that we imported, find the screen size function and then do that with these arguments. Okay. And then from there, I'm just going to quickly type this one in. So I'm going to have turtle.shape and then I'm going to set that one to turtle. So you can set the turtle to be a number of different things. In this case, I'm going to set it to be the turtle and you'll see what that appears like on screen. Last but not least, I'm going to set up a little variable here that's called my turtle. And basically from there, uh, I'm just going to have this code written here. Now, basically what that's saying is that anytime we enter my turtle now, run this particular function. Okay, so it's just going to make things a little bit faster for us. So below here is for the little square that we're going to draw. Okay, so... First activity is very, very simple. We just need our turtle to move forward and then turn four times. So I'm gonna say my turtle dot forward, tell it how far I want it to move forward, and then basically that I need it to turn left. Okay, so that particular code, when you see the output, is basically gonna get the turtle to drive forward 200 pixels, and then we're going to turn left 90 degrees. Now we obviously need to do that three more times so that we can get our square. Uh, so I'm just going to be a little bit cheeky and come up here and copy that. So once you've got it highlighted, you can press Control C. You can see I press Control V to get that to paste in. So two, three, four. And then from there, I'm able to go and run my code. Now, as always, it's going to ask me to save it. So I'm just going to jump into my exercise 2A. Save that one there. Let's give that another go. Whoops. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Sorry, so I missed a T up here. Uh, so the little compiler error you can see here is basically saying on line four, it doesn't know what T-U-R-L-E is. Now I've just updated that so it has turtle in there, uh, which means that we are now good to go. So I can press run module and then uh, over on my second screen, it has opened up our graphics window and our little turtle has drawn the four sides of our square. Okay, so that's it for our square video. So the first one up that we are looking to do. Uh, very, very simple. Now there are some ways to make this code more efficient. We'll get to those in a little bit, but in the next video, we're going to be looking to draw a triangle, which is gonna change things up a little bit there as well. So I look forward to seeing you over in that next video.